Please welcome to the stage Reed McCollum with the Coalition for a Better Illinois Sixth. And that was very cool. Hey, uh, my name is Reed McCollum. I'm one of the volunteer leaders of the Coalition for a Better Illinois Sixth. So how did the Democrats flip the House of Representatives? It's resistance to Donald Trump is the blue wave, right? In one word, it was women. We know these are all the right answer, but yet none of them scratches the surface of what really happened. The Illinois Sixth Congressional District was like many suburban districts that flipped across the country. Peter Raskin won re-election by landslides, 67%. That is until Sean Caston beat him by seven points in November, right? The Sixth District was an outlier in a lot of ways. It had one of the most successful field programs of any congressional race nationwide, knocking two-thirds as many doors as J.B. Pritzker's campaign statewide in the final weeks. So the question is why? What happened? Like many districts across the country, dozens of grassroots groups formed after Trump became president. In the 6th District, we got the leaders together and we formed the Coalition for a Better Illinois Sixth. That was uncommon, but it was not by any means rare. Then the coalition came up with a strategic plan to educate voters on important issues, to educate them on the voting record of their elected representative, and to encourage everyone to get out and actually vote. We did this, by the way, not a couple months before the election, but back in the spring of 2017. But what made the work that the coalition did truly unique is that we actually executed on that strategic plan by training over 300 people to knock over 10,000 doors in 2017. We organized over 40 large protests and events, and we recruited, we recruited um, volunteers to write over 200,000 handwritten postcards to voters which, if, if you're curious, if you tried to do that by yourself, would take you three and a half years writing eight hours a day, every day. So if, if you want to do that for 2020, you just need to start two years ago. The question I get asked all the time is, how do we do it? It wasn't a unicorn donor, it wasn't the Democratic Party, and it wasn't a magical app for the iPad. A group of leaders, came up with a strategic plan to harness the same grassroots energy that we saw all across the country. And then we put that plan to work. And we made it happen. We did the hard work, that's it. A coalition, a strategy, and a crap ton of hard work. But if you've ever been part of a coalition, you know that as hard as it is to get people um, to come up with a strategy, it's even harder to get them to actually find the time in their busy schedules to execute it well, if at, or at all. So the message I'll leave you with is really simple. It's not enough to build a coalition or to have a strategy. You actually also have to do all of the hard work. And it doesn't hurt to have a couple magical apps for your phone either. Thank you.